Hi there, this is Lori Masonis. It's on uh, it's Tuesday, March 16th. We're here in front of the office of Congresswoman Norma Torres, her Ontario office. She is my Congresswoman, and we're here um, to ask for her to not support HR6 nor support H HR1603. HR6 is a Dream and Promise Act and the Farmer, Farm Worker Act, H.R. 1603, to vote no, not support it, because both these bills are terrible ideas during the period of a border crisis that we have um, along the southern border, and during this time of COVID-19 crisis. I mean, look at it this way. We have millions of Americans, no job, inability to pay their rent or mortgage, and kids not in school. And this is just a bad idea at the bad time. Please, <coughs> Norma Torres, listen to your constituents. No. And this is a letter that the constituents have signed telling her to oppose the DREAM Act, which would grant amnesty to three million people in our country illegally. I Hello, I'm uh, here to uh, ask, demand Norma Torres uh, say no on the DREAM Act. And also I'd like to say, make America great again, Trump 2024. Thank you. Hi, I'm also here to say no on the DREAM Act. I am a Vietnam a veteran, and I believe that the money should be used for the homeless and also, especially during this pandemic, that we should uh, use the money for other things instead of having illegal immigrants came here. I came here as a legal immigrant in 1961, and I have enjoyed everything that America has given me, the freedom, and I see it taken away today. So please vote no. Thank you. Hi, I'm here today to support my fellow citizens to, that are following the law. We've come in here, we can't even go in the elevator all as a group, we have to go in two by two. We follow the rules. We want other people to follow the rules and we want to be compassionate to people who want to come here, but right now, during the pandemic, we need to take care of our own people first and then have the time and money to spend on other people. I'm Donna DeMarzio Fernandez. I'm one of Norma Torres' unhappy constituents. And I'm here this morning to support everyone opposing the bills that are being presented this week regarding the illegal immigrants. And I think that Norma Torres should take advice from her previous boss, that would be Trump. And I think that you should learn how to make America great again, follow his advice, and keep America great and safe and stop the bills. Thank you. My name is Deborah Scott too, and I would uh, encourage Norma Torres to vote no on HR 6 and HR 16. And uh, we have much more important things right now. We have a homeless situation, we have a border crisis, we have the pandemic. And this is a bad bill, bad idea, at a, a very bad time in our, our history. Hi, I'm Judy DeVries. I am a constituent of Norma Torres. I am the granddaughter of immigrants who came here, who followed the rules, did what it took, and came in the correct order. And this is all I'm asking. For people who want to come in here, just follow the rules. So I'm urging Norma to vote no on HR 6 and 16. I also am uh, very happy to be here to be able to express my opinion. Hi, I'm Carol Knowlton, and I'm one of her enormous constituents as well. Um, I'm very passionate about people coming to this country but doing it legally. We had two children we adopted from Russia. We had mounds of paperwork and years before we could bring them here. All I'm asking is that there's fairness for everyone, that certain groups don't get special treatment just because of who they are. Bleeding hearts don't save anybody. They put everybody at risk. And I can't urge you enough to think of the American people. They can help others, but when you destroy us, nobody's going to be helped, and you're doing this. 
And I can't urge you enough too at this time where we have a border crisis and a pandemic that you forget that we have homeless in LA, we have foster children who are not being cared for, we have schools that are not even open yet, and you want to spend this kind of money? No, it's misappropriation of American taxpayers' monies. We are the ones paying. You work for us, and I don't want you to forget that. Thank you. All right. Thank you to the constituents. And we're going to go ahead and leave our letter under the door since the door is locked. Mm -hmm.